I am Mary with the Cook's Warehouse. My team and I hope you're doing really well during this crazy time we're in. We hope you're staying safe and eating great food, and we're happy to be here for you for anything that you might need for your kitchen. We have curbside service and delivery, and our stores are open with limited hours currently. Um, we're always here to give you every excuse to cook, and we hope you're doing well. We're doing another sheet pan meal, and this time it's gonna be lamb meatballs with carrots and asparagus, some of my most favorite flavors. So we'll get our uh, vegetable ready first. I love these Swiss peelers from Coon Recon. They are so fast and easy. They have a carbon steel blade, which is super sharp. So we just wanna peel our carrot, and we're gonna cut this into coins. And we want kind of thin coins so that it cooks um, nice and evenly and cooks along with our asparagus and our smaller meatballs. You could do these in half moons if you wanted to do that, certainly up to you. Little knife skills, thumb and index finger on the blade, just wrap your fingers around. And I keep my other hand actually against the knife because it shows me exactly how um, the thickness of the cut. So even though I'm talking to you, I'm probably cutting these about the same thickness every time. Knife Skills 101 is our number one class for 25 years. So as soon as the school's reopened, we hope you'll come, out, come on by and uh, tune up your knife skills. Okay, so we've got our asparagus and our carrots and I'm gonna put these in our USA pan sheet pan. I love USA pans. They have a great um, commercial grade silicone nonstick surface, so they clean really well. And if you're baking, um, think, I mean, literally, if you hit the side of the cookie with your spatula, it'll shoot across the sheet pan. They're really, um, really great bakeware. So I wanna add some pepper and salt to my vegetables. It's really important to season as you go, to season as you're cooking, not after you're cooking. And then I'm also gonna add some olive oil. And then we're gonna put our meatballs right on top. I love these one sheet meals because it's super easy and um, not a lot to clean up afterwards. So I'm putting my gloves on to make the meatballs. We're gonna do lamb meatballs today, but you could use any protein that you wanted. You can use, um, or you could, you know, like chicken or turkey. I like bison, I love lamb. You could use tofurkey or any other kind of tofu um, ingredient based product you wanted to as well. So here's our ground lamb. Seems to be ready, readily available at the grocery stores, so hopefully that won't be um, an issue. But again, those other substitutions are fine. I'm gonna give this a generous portion of salt and pepper. I always grind my pepper because it has so much more flavor. So buy your peppercorns and then grind it as you use it, as opposed to it being pre-ground, we're not sure when, but long ago, okay? Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, is always better. Has a lot more flavor. Um, I can take a big block of Parmesan cheese and just grind it up in the Vitamix, and then you've got your own grated cheese instead of it being grated by someone else at some other time. Um, fresh breadcrumbs. Great use of stale bread, just pop it in the oven, very low heat, let it um, dehydrate all the way, and then pop it in the Vitamix or your blender and mix it up. I mean, just blend it up to make the breadcrumbs. I'm also adding one egg to the mix. And then for some more flavor, we're going to take, uh, this is one of my very favorite tools. Thank you, Mary Beth, for for um, convincing me years ago that we had to carry the easy roll garlic peeler. Put your clove of garlic right in the middle, roll it with the easy roll, and look at that, all the skin has just flown off. You don't have any skin, uh, any garlic smell on your hands if I weren't wearing gloves, under your fingernails, and it's also not all in your cutting board. So I'm just gonna cut off the little woody end of the clove of garlic and slice this up and then continue to work it into a little mince. You could also use your garlic press if you prefer to press your garlic. That had a little green stem in there and normally I would have taken that out so you can take it out or not take it out. I cooked with Patricia Wells one time and we were using 40 cloves of garlic and literally had to take the stems out of every single clove before we could use them. So I um, learned that lesson long ago. All right, so mincing this up and again always with cooking the ingredients you use are the ones that you love the most i might actually double or triple this amount of garlic or i might just leave it as it is you can do whatever you'd like 
popping that in. Okay, and then we have some fresh Italian parsley. I always use Italian, uh, the flat leaf parsley. I feel like it has a lot more flavor than the curly cousin. Again, that's up to you. We also grow it in our garden. I know a lot of people are doing gardens these days and um, parsley grows really pretty easily and well. So you can have some at hand all the time. It goes really well in a container too, if you wanna do a little container gardening. Okay, adding in our parsley. And just gonna mix all of this up really well. And then we're also adding a little bit of tepid water to this. It is a secret ingredient. You might not have ever used water in your meatballs before, but trust me on this one and just do it this time. You can let me know if you like it or you don't like it, but I think you're gonna love the result. So um, we're, the sheet pan that you see from USA Pan, we're actually gonna give this away. So try this recipe, like it, and um, we will pick from all of those of you who have liked it on our social media, and then we'll, um, we'll give the pan away. And you too can enjoy cooking with USA Pan. Love it. Okay, this looks delicious. It smells so good already. Um, we're gonna cook this at 425 degrees, so you will have wanted to preheat your oven. I'm gonna use a little scoop, so they're all the same size. And just roll these into meatballs. And I'm gonna dot them around the tray. So the um, juice from the meatballs is gonna flavor the vegetables as they're cooking. Now that our meatballs are all formed, I'm going to brush a little bit of olive oil on them. I love a silicone basting brush because you can throw it right in the dishwasher. Clean super easy and also easy to use and it holds a nice amount of oil or barbecue sauce or whatever you're basting. This will give them a nice um, just glisten as they cook. Is this beautiful? I bet you cannot wait to make this at home. Our meatballs are almost ready. We are 10 minutes into our 15 minute bake. And as we're 10 minutes in, I'm gonna pull these out and give them a quick baste with some orange marmalade, just to give them a little bit of delicious sweetness and glaze on top. meatballs are ready to go. One thing I didn't say earlier, another reason why I love USA Pan so much is it does not warp or twist in the oven. It's important to have a really um, thick gauge pan and made from a single metal. Look at those meatballs. I'm ready to eat. I don't know about y'all, but I hope you enjoy them. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's check out the meatballs. Looks amazing. Oops, so tender. Mm. Mm hmm This is going to be on your list for a long time. Enjoy it. <laughs>